host Minecraft here and welcome to another video and as you may be able to tell from the title episode 2 of modded Monday where every Monday I do a mod review of well any mod I really desire and um in the comment section below please tell me if there's any mods you want me to do um for the first few episodes I'm gonna try to do some smaller mods just I don't want to go too far in like Eventually I'll do something like Thomcraft or Divine RPG or maybe Mo Creatures or something. But this is the start of a series, so I'm just going small. And uh yeah, so this is a double mod review where I do I'm gonna do two mods because both of them are just so tiny. And uh, for my last video I did uh, a mini game idea uh, using the Freeze Enchantment mod by Chillix and um yeah, I'll be reviewing that in this episode, and that's why I have 5,396 levels experience, and a bookshelf health. But the first mod I'm gonna do is the, uh, Falling Anvils mod, I think it is, but I'll post a, um, a link to Seto Sorcerer's video and, um, the mod page, but, um, uh, yeah, so I set up a little thing here, so the cake is not a lie. And I have a command block down here so that says slash give uh, app, which is close, the nearest player. Uh, 354, which is the ID of cake, and then it gives you 10 of them. So, um, yeah, so the cake is not a lie. Jump up and down on the pressure plate. And since I like cake, how about I do that? Yay, fun. And then the anvil drops on you. So basically, what happens is any time it doesn't. So here's what I'll do to demonstrate what this practically does. Delete these all. So basically, what it does is if you stack like um, like this, and then normally if you put an anvil on top. It's just an anvil, it doesn't do anything. But when you break the glass under it, or block, it starts breaking all of the glass. And I'm pretty sure it does damage the anvil too, because this is a slightly damaged anvil. And I put a regular anvil up there. But yeah. So that is the heavy anvils mod, I think it is. Um, so I'll put an annotation to Seto Sorcerer's video. And up in the corner, right about, hmm, how about now? And then, I will, in the description, I will post the link to uh, Chillix's website with all his many mods. Because they're all made by uh, Chillix, but then they're reviewed by Seto Sorcerer. So yeah, right now, I'm going to craft some diamond booties. And now I'm just going to go like this a few times. So I'm... I'm pressing the middle, I'm middle mousing all of these, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right there, but, okay, so, not what we want, but I still got feather falling, uh, feather falling, uh, <laughs> protection one, I don't think any of these are high enough. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm, I'm gonna do right now is I'll just destroy all of those. And now let's see if there's anything higher. Nope, but just go through here, delete all of those. Uh, now I'll search up books. I didn't test this out to see if it would work, but... Okay. Okay, now I'll go like this, and then I'll open up this roof. Okay, well this doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna do this, 
and apparently it doesn't like my enchant room. Uh, yeah, not my fault. Not my fault. I blame Minecraft for this. I do. Uh, so I'll try to get hit to where it'll be level 30. Uh, so I think it's like this. To get to level 30. Uh, I think that's it. Is it? Here. Yep, level 30. Freeze 2. So what this does is this allows you to get uh, up to freeze 3, I think. Maybe it's just freeze. What if I had another bookshelf on? Yeah. So up to freeze two, I guess. Uh, boots. And, ooh, this one has feather falling. So yeah, I'll just use the normal freeze boots. Delete all of these. Delete everything. Do, 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 do. And basically what this does is if I go around spastastically hang, I'm not sure if it works with lava, but it's worth a shot. If I go around hitting this stuff randomly, and then I right click, uh, wait a second, uh, did I put those on? Yeah, I did. Did it, I'm not sure if it works on source blocks. Okay, there. So yeah, basically it lets you freeze all water that you walk on. So this is useful for getting across oceans and things. Uh, cause y you can just get around a lot faster. And uh, if you have a silk touch hit pickaxe and for some reason you want to use ice, uh, you can collect the ice a lot easier. So it's kind of like an ice farm. So if you use like MC Edit or something or... Ooh, here's an idea. If I go like this, and then I go Zom. B, and then I duplicate this once, and then I go like this, oh god, I have to take off these boots right now, so I'm seeing if the zo if w zombies walk over it, you can make a total totally cool ice farm out of it. Like a legit ice farm. Oh wait, am I on peaceful? Yes I am. Uh still on peaceful? Oh wait, I right clicked. Take my booties. He does not want my booties. This sucks, um, uh, here, take my boots. God. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I could get him to put on my boots. Does it work with swords and stuff? Um. Sh does it work when you throw them a sword? Like if I give this guy a diamond sword, does that work? Will he pick up the sword? Take my sword. I want to give you my sword. <coughs> this zombie sucks. Uh, wait, does it work in survival? Or wait, I'll just... Ooh, testificate zombie. And now, I'm get, probably gonna get screwed over here, but... Okay, so it's working. Maybe it just works in survival, I don't know. But now, no, I do not have them on. I want to lead him over to here and then see if he will walk over this and freeze it all. Okay. I'm going to clear off all the other ones that don't really know how to put on boots. I should have used the Jerry Sword during this because that thing is OP, but... Oh wow, my guy picked up rotten flesh too. He knows how to pick up things apparently. Oh my god, this is hard. One hit, one hit. One hit. Okay. 
Now, where is my base? Here it is. Uh, Phil Health. Come on, come at me, bro. I want to see if he will. Oh. Hey, well, that doesn't seem to work. Uh. Drop the boots. Yeah, freeze two did not work. Yeah, but okay. Oh god, I'm glitching in the block. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna end off the episode here. Um, well, thanks for watching. Uh, here, you can get some of these if you subscribe to me. I think you might like that. I think that would be nice. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button in the description below. Uh, I, I guess there's not much else to say other than bye from Burrito Does Minecraft.